It's Stephanie, your physical therapist advisor from Mama Strong. Today we're going to talk about something that's been bothering a lot of us ever since the COVID-19 pandemic, and a lot of us are um, privileged enough to be working from home. And that is how to set up your workstation so that you're not having a lot of neck pain, a lot of back pain, etc. So I'm going to take you through kind of the three main areas you want to think about as you're thinking about setting up your workstation. So the first thing to think about is kind of what's the alignment between the head and the shoulders. When you're sitting at your computer, you definitely want to be close enough to the desk so that that way your head can relax and the ears can stay over the shoulders. So kind of like this. If I'm sitting really far away from my desk or if my eyesight isn't great and I can't see my screen, what I'm going to want to do is kind of crane my neck forward. And after that happens, my shoulders go forward. I tend to round my pelvis really bad things for lots of areas in the body. So close enough to the desk so that the ears can rest over shoulders. The second thing that will help with that that you want to think about is your armrests. It's super, super important to have adjustable armrests. So that way your elbows can rest at about 90 degrees of flexion. If your armrests don't adjust, you're either going to be way down here or you're going to be way up here, um, or worse yet, you're not going to use them at all. And then you're going to kind of be reaching like this. And the longer you do that, the more the shoulders are going to creep up towards the neck. Your neck and shoulders are going to get really tight. You're going to get pain and headaches, all kinds of bad things. So make sure your armrests are adjustable. So that way you can achieve that 90 degree angle, have some support, but still be able to type. The last thing to really think about is the angle between the hip and the lower back. So we basically want that angle at 90 degrees. We also want about 90 degrees at the knees and then with the feet flat and supported on the floor. If I were to sit in this chair like it's just designed naturally and lean all the way back, I would be really at too much of an extended angle here. So it's best to use a little pillow if that happens to you. So you can either put that pillow behind your lower back or for women, sometimes it's actually better to have that support at the mid back. Now you can see if I put that support at the mid back, it forces me to sit up a little straighter. My ears are aligned nicely over my shoulders. I can still have my elbows rest and type and see the screen without having to make any major adjustments. So those are the main things to think about. If you're wondering about what kind of office chair you should get, um, the most important thing I would say are adjustable armrests. I definitely recommend checking out wirecutter.com and looking at their review of office chairs. Um, mine is the budget pick from there, which was still a couple hundred dollars, um, but it serves me really well. Uh, if you are a Mama Strong member, don't forget you can check out our how to sit videos and sitting recovery videos. Plus, anyone can check out our link in bio and we have a really nice self-assessment of your workstation that you can fill out from the National Institutes of Health to see what you may need to adjust. Don't forget to check us out next Friday where I'll be going over some exercises that can help undo all of that time you have to spend sitting at your computer. So, I will see you then. Bye!